Want to create a stunning RGB LED controller with real-time color adjustment? In this video, I will show you how to make this awesome project using Arduino OLED display and a 4 into 4 LED matrix. So hey guys, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel called ElectroCode. So let's get started. This project lets you adjust the red, green and blue color values of an RGB LED matrix using push buttons. The current color values are displayed on the OLED screen in real time. It's a fun way to explore electronics programming and creative design. So this is all the components that you're gonna need to make this project. First you're gonna need an Arduino. You can use Arduino Uno Mega. I am using Arduino Nano. Okay. And an OLED display to show the different R, G and B values. Okay. Uh, six push buttons to uh, change the RGB value, to control, to regulate the RGB value. Okay. Uh, two, 4 into 4 your uh, RGB LED matrix display okay uh, one PCB board and one this female connector and some jumper wires so I'm gonna solder all these components over this zero PCB board okay and then I'm gonna upload the code to the Arduino and we're gonna run this project okay? For circuit design, I always prefer the Ultium 365. Are you tired of struggling with PCB design and collaboration? Let me introduce to the game changer for electronics engineers, the Ultium 365. Ultium 365 is world's only cloud-based platform for PCB design, making collaboration seamless, secure and fast. Whether you are working remotely, managing a team or sharing design with manufacturers, Ultium 365 has got your back. Imagine collaborating in real time with your team, having instant access to the latest design versions and sharing your work with just a click. No more email chains or file mismatches. Want to be job ready in electronics design? Try Altium Student Lab. You get free access to Altium Designer and Altium 365 so you can collaborate with your mates and earn a certificate that recognized by top industries in India. It's a great way to boost your skill and your resume. Just enter your university email to get started for free. Want to revolutionize your PCB design process? Then click the link in the description to check Altium 365 and Altium Student Labs today. Your next big innovation starts here. Thank you Altum365 for sponsoring this video. So our soldering is done for our for this project and let me tell you something about our uh, circuit connection. Okay. So yeah. <clears throat> so you can see uh, our LED matrix display is connected with the Arduino. Okay, here we're gonna fit the Arduino. Here we're gonna fit the Arduino. This Arduino will go here. Okay, so uh, the LED matrix display digital pin is connected to Arduino digital pin number nine. Okay, and the positive terminal of the LED matrix and the negative terminal of the negative LED matrix is connected to the ground and positive terminal of the Arduino. Right now, let's talk about the push buttons. Okay, so these push buttons are connected from 2 to pin number 7 or 2 to 
this push button is connected to pin number two this one is three four five six and seven so two from two to seven okay so the six push button are connected to arduino from digital pin number two to seven okay now uh, the only thing left is the uh, OLED display. So the OLED display connection is also very simple. The OLED display positive pin and negative pin is connected to Arduino positive and ground. Okay. And the SCL pin of the OLED display is connected to A5 and SDA is connected to A4. Okay. So this is the basic circuit connection for this project. I hope you will get it. I will. Uh, give the link for the circuit diagram in the description you can go there and download it <clears throat> so here our circuit connection is done now let's jump to our arduino code okay so let's see our arduino code now let's upload the code to the arduino we will be using the adafruit neopixel and ssd 1306 libraries for this project the code lets you adjust the red green and blue values of the LED matrix using the buttons. The OLED display shows the current RGB values in real time. The update LEDs function changes the LED colors while update LED updates the display. We have also added some constants to keep RGB values between 0 and 255. Now let's upload this code and your Arduino is ready to go everything is set now let's just add arduino to our board with all the components and test our project so here you can see i have already connected my arduino to the supply and our code is running right now in the old screen you can see three different values rg and b values and you can change it by using these push buttons and you can see the real time value on the OLED screen okay so before testing our code uh, let me show you uh, i have written some are the different uh, colors rgb values from white to your light green okay so we're gonna test all of this and uh, see the result okay so let's try it out first we will go for the white color for white color we need to have the values red as 255 green as 255 and blue also as 255 so we have to max out all three values so let's do that first So I'm keep pressing. I'm gonna keep pressing this button while the uh, value is jump up to 255 for the red. As you can see, the red color is glowing very bright right now. So you cannot see in the screen right now, but it's glowing pretty good. Okay. Now let's change the green value to max. You can see different color patterns. Okay. Now it's a little bit yellowish. Now we wanna change the blue color to max. Okay, so now the blue color is at max. Okay, green to max, right? Okay. So as you can see, when we are putting the max value for R, G, and B, uh, you can see the our uh, uh, LEDs are uh, glowing bright white right now. So we achieved the white color, and it's also pretty bright. Okay, you can uh, increase and decrease the uh, brightness also by decreasing the value from R, G, and B. As you can see. The glow is also decreasing. Okay, now you can clearly see the changes while I'm dropping the RGB values. Okay, now our white color we achieved our white color now it's time to uh, go to our second color is that is red we're gonna have to uh, make the red color to achieve the red color we have to put the r value to 255 green value to zero and blue to zero so let's do that so we're gonna put first we're gonna make the green to zero uh, you also you can see the changes in color is now pink right now now we're gonna decrease the blue to zero and you can see you already achieved the red color for brighter red color we can increase the r value to max so we can get a brighter red color see if i decrease this value you can clearly see the oled uh, sorry the uh, rgb leds glowing red okay so for that uh, you can see uh, we have to so now I'm keeping the R value to 15 while our green and blue to zero so that you can see this uh, LED matrix glowing red in the camera. Okay. 
otherwise you cannot see because it was glowing very bright right so we achieved the red color now we will go to the green color to achieve the green color we have to put red to zero green to max and blue to zero okay now let's do that we're gonna make red to zero blue to zero and green to max by maxing little bit of value in the green side we can already achieve the green color why we are getting this result because our red and blue is ultimately is in zero right now so that's why if you increase the green one so we, we can easily achieve a light green color so as you can see in the screen is the light green color okay we can max the value and we can increase the brightness also as you can see the led is uh, brightness is also increasing so it's very, very hard to see in the screen right now so let me just decrease the green value so that you can see that easily okay so now our color is glowing green okay so we achieved the green color now let's jump to the uh, fourth one that is blue for achieving blue we need to uh, make r to zero green to zero and blue to 255 or max okay so now let's uh, make green to zero and increase the b1 blue one so as you can see we already achieved the blue color it's a light blue color okay it's hard to see in the screen but i can understand okay if we increase the blue value then we can achieve a brighter blue color or a deep blue you can see okay let me decrease the value of blue a little bit so that you can see in the screen clearly. right so is the blue color okay so we finally achieved the blue one now let's go to the yellow to achieve the yellow color we need to put red and green to max and blue to zero let's do that okay we're gonna put blue to zero increase the red while increasing the green as you can see you already achieved the yellow color we don't have to put it to max because if you put it to max it's gonna be a very uh, brighter one so we cannot see in the camera screen as i'm keep saying it because it's really necessary to understand that and my camera is not that good you're gonna capture those much of brightness or give you a clear result okay so we already achieved the yellow one we already achieved the yellow color as you can see the screen is growing yellow right now okay now let's go to the uh, next one that is the cyan color you can see the cyan color we have to go uh, achieve the cyan color to achieve the cyan color we need to put r to zero green to 255 and blue to 255 so let's do that you have to put r to zero r to zero uh blue green to max and also increase the blue also right see we already achieved the cyan color now we are at the cyan color okay now our leds are glowing cyan is the deep cyan or light cyan you can change the value by increase and decreasing the green and blue values okay in the oled screen right okay so you achieve the cyan now let's go to the second one that is our orange for to achieving orange we need to put r to 255 uh green to 165 and blue to zero okay orange so we have to put uh blue to zero we have to make blue zero all right and we will increase the uh red one let's increase the red one you can see the changes in color in the screen right now okay we need to achieve orange to need to achieve orange we have to increase the red to the max is already showing the orange color okay i don't know you have you can see this in the screen or not but right okay so it's now it orange color you already achieved the orange color by increasing the red and your green and makes the blue to zero now we have to go for purple one to achieve the purple one we have to increase the value of red to 128 green to zero and blue to 128 so let's do that for purple okay green to zero we have to make green zero okay you can see the changes in color also let's decrease the red color a little bit okay now increase the blue see you can see already we can see the result as the purple color is glowing right now by increasing a little more we can get a light purple color okay see you already achieved the purple color you can see the changes in the screen so yeah you can play with this project by changing your uh, rg and v values simultaneously and you can achieve different color patterns in your rgb oled display so this is it for this project a simple yet and creative way to explore the world of rgb lighting and microcontrollers so if you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe and also share it with your tech enthusiast and that's it guys that's it for today thank you for watching peace